And for the most part, what we do is we sit down, our advisors sit down with families at the beginning of the year and say, you know, what is your plan? Here's how that, if, mm -hmm. if you're in high school, here's how that will get you f closer to, you know, that, that diploma document that you may value. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and here's, here's things you might want to think of. Here's things you might want to put off. Here's approaches that other students have used to do a very creative, uh, learning session and, and here's some traditional mm -hmm. ones that you may want to consider. Um, nice. And so a lot of that is, is coaching or advising on our part. And then the students go out and learn it or the, you know, they might hire a tutor, they might join a homeschool co-op right, class. Right. It may not be a totally and completely self-designed, you know, course where the student is just off on their own without mentors or whatever. Um, but that's possible too. So we have all these different right, ways that right. these kids can be learning. Typically the younger kids, the K to eight kids are mm -hmm. working with their parents. A parent is home with them, um, probably learning as much or more, you know, on the way. <laughs> that's what most parents say. I can't believe how much I learned when I decided to teach my kids, yep. you know, at home. <laughs> um, but always we are trying to encourage their choice and their, um, right looking to the student to be the curriculum really that was one right, of one right. of my mother's you know f famous quotes was the student is the curriculum this is the agentic schools podcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills i'm your host don berg